Hello out there friends, I thought I would give you a little live stream of the Storm Dojo gym, the inside part of the gym today. It's a drizzly day here in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve of the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project, but that doesn't mean it's time to make excuses, it's time to make gains. So, welcome to all my friends out there, no matter where you are in the world, remember Every day is a day to make a difference. So, what I'm going to do firstly is show you around the inside gym here. I've got an assortment of weights starting off from the very smallest half kg weights, dumbbells going up to six, etc., all the way up to tens, twelves, fifteens. This beast over here is a 50 kg. Yeah, not pound, kg. So, that's really good for trap shrugs, and it's really good for hammer curls, if you want to make some serious strength gains. I'm all about making endurance and fitness gains for longevity, and what I like to call power with purpose, applied gym. So getting very bulky is not going to be any good for running and cycling. For those who watch my videos, you'll know that's what I'm about. It's about getting out there and enjoying your body. It's the ultimate machine. You can decide how you're going to upgrade it. You can drive around in an old beaten up vehicle that needs to go in for an urgent service. Or you can say, no, will your future self actually thank you for what you have done today? And what you can do is every day make a difference. And like Arnold Schwarzenegger says, <laughs> sleep faster. There are 24 hours in a day. If you are still one of those persons out there and you'll know if you are, who are making the excuses saying, oh, but I don't have the time. That is nonsense. Let me tell you right now, everybody has the time. Even if it's only a minute of your day, that still leaves plenty of time for everything else. So do those push-ups, calisthenics, isometrics, stretches. You can do that anywhere in the world, no matter where you are. You can be in a little box and you can be doing isometrics. An isometric is basically a hold where you are Tensing muscle against muscle. So don't even come with the excuse. Oh, we don't have weights. Oh, we don't have a gym membership. Nonsense. You don't need any of that. And for those of you who don't know about the Storm Dojo Gym, it's a martial arts dojo. It's an outdoor gym. It's an eco gym here in Latachans Flay, Otsuren, Western Cape of South Africa. To all my friends out here in Otsuren, yeah, isn't it awesome today? We're having a bit of rainfall coming through. So I'm going to pause briefly because it's difficult to film with one hand, but I'm going to do some alternate curls. I've already been doing some incline bench. It's awesome. It's a great way of activating your push-up pecs. So, of course, when you're doing gym, it's not just about going and moving around, lifting weights, etc. It's about good form. It's about not making injuries. It's all good to feel that bit of a burn because what you're doing is actually tearing down muscle fibers. You are breaking them down. So it's important to put good food, that nutrition, back into your body. For those who follow my work, you'll know I'm all about organic wildlife friendly farming. So before continuing, let's have a brief look around. Coming to you courtesy of a live stream from the Meerkat Mansion, our chair, for those who watch my videos, will know the Shongololos, the team of students in this area, over 30 plus students from all ages come to gym. And this is where we have our barbecue, Brio Clock. Very rustic, it's atavistic, it's basically just a hole in the ground that reflects the heat. All right, moving on. Let's have a look because it is still drizzling. We've already had 4.5 millimeters. Shout out to my bee friend, Eugene. Again, your bee children are on extended vacation at the moment. There's no gathering of food and no going to drink at the little jacuzzi over there because, of course, they're getting enough water coming through. Let's have a look outside briefly. Standing out here on the porch, that massive antenna up on the Meerkat Mansion roof is so that I can get signal in this valley because... This is an ancient riverbed system. There's so much to talk about, so I'm going to keep it to the gym mainly. But in the distance, the Great Black Mountain Range cannot even be seen. It's wreathed behind the clouds over there. We may even get some snow on the mountain right now. Yeah, I am standing here barefoot, as you can see. No excuses, even though it's about 12 degrees centigrade right now. 
which is a massive dip in temperature from our usual 45 plus degrees centigrade. That's centigrade, friends, not Fahrenheit. This is the real deal out here. It can get very, very hot in summer. And of course, that's why I'm here in the first place. It's a semi-desert ecology. It's the ideal place for wildlife that I study, especially the fossorial or digging mammals. Yeah, you didn't think you'd be hearing about fossorial or digging mammals today, did you? In a live stream for a gym. So, let me show you what's in the distance, of course. I'm going to just go down on my haunches here. It's also a great way of stretching. Hear that white noise, that absolute power from nature rumbling in the distance. Yeah, every single day I can see it. That's the Storm Dojo gym right there. You can do a Google map search. If you're not familiar with it, why not? It's the unique gym in the world, outdoor gym like this. That's the dojo out there. And on that dojo, there is a push-up rock that has had tens of thousands of push-ups done on it by people from all around the world already who come through to visit. This is a community gym and it's open to the public. Just look me up and we can make an arrangement for you to come out and actually enjoy having a gym out here. Best views. It's next to the biggest privately owned dam in the area as well, which should be getting some beautiful water. In the distance, kilometers and kilometers of Meerkat Magic Valley Wildlife Reserve stretching off into the mountains. As far as you can see, it's just wild, wild, wild. All right. So, having shown you a little scan around, again, let's look way off into the distance. Up at the Storm Dojo Gym, there is the No Excuses Boulder, which took over two and a half years to get to that position. It is the highest place in the reserve. It is the biggest hill I could find for the biggest challenge. And that's why it's the No Excuses Rock, because every day when I see it, it motivates me. Thank you to my past self, and will your past self thank you for what you did today. Take a few minutes, friends. Join me. Let's go into the gym, and we're going to do some curls. Look at this lovely water down here. Ah, oh, what a pleasure. All right. I'm not even turning on the lights because there's some natural lights coming through my bedroom at the moment, streaming through there. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, this farmhouse over 100 plus years old, in case you're wondering. So, beautiful roof system over here. Look at that yellow wood beams. All right, let's get back down to it. I was telling you a bit about anatomy and curls. We've got all the way from the lowest weights, going right up here to one of the heaviest weights. And then, of course, if you really want to punish yourself for some serious heavy weights, these are 50s, all right, for deadlifts calf raises and then over here 20 kg dumbbells i love these hex dumbbells because they don't roll so you can actually do push-ups on them as well if you want that extra stretch on your pecs again if you're doing gym training etc it's important to understand you're going to need to be a chiropractor as well so you can stretch out those tendons those muscles and make sure that everything is properly aligned it's very important to stretch and it's very, very important to stay hydrated and get those electrolytes in like potassium and sodium. Keep that in balance. All right. So behind me, I've got my three liter water bottle. I'll have about six liters to eight liters a day, depending on what I'm doing. And yes, that's water. Please don't tell me, oh, but I drink coffee and tea and juice, etc. And you think that's how you're going to be hydrated. Water is your best friend. This is your radiator. So if you want to clean it out, pour in the good stuff. And I'm talking about pure borehole water. There's no chlorine and other nonsense in there. It's the pure good stuff full of minerals and other delicious body nutrients. All right, here we've got some 32 kgs. And then my newest babies. Oh, I love these. Shout out to you, Gorilla Weights out there for bringing these to me. Two days after I ordered them, they brought them out to the reserve. These are 40 kgs. They're not that easy to get hold of. In case any of you haven't searched for them online, you'll know about it. All right, but I'm going to start off giving you a quick demonstration. It's important to warm up. I've already done some bench, incline bench today and flat bench. That's going to target your pectoralis muscles, your pecs. And of course, after doing push-ups or some warm-ups, it's a great way of activating those muscles. It's called a pre-exhaust. I'm going to throw some gym terms at you out there. For those who are unfamiliar with this, stick around. I'll explain. 
pre-exhaustion is basically wearing out a muscle before you start working it. And as I like to tell the Shongololo students who visit here, especially throughout the holidays, when you are training, remember, your muscles don't know how to count. It's how you make the muscle feel, not how many repetitions you do. So you may be doing low repetitions if you're going for strength gains, six, even four, or maximal rep, single rep, slow rep, fast reps, etc. You can alternate, you can vary it to make sure you don't become worn out and hit a plateau, as they call it, in training. All right, so then the pre-exhaust wears out the muscles so that you can push it further when you start training. Typically, you get a pyramid set where you're going from a lower weight upwards and usually the repetitions, the number of times you do an exercise will decrease as you go up and up in weight. And then you can do a drop set where you go down in weight and then you keep the repetitions the same or even increase them as you drop down. So you may start off with, let's say, 8 kgs of a 50 and then drop down to 40 kgs, 10 kg drop and then go for 8 to 10 to 12 reps, and then drop again down to 35s, and then drop again. So you can do alternate movements. When you're doing free weights, not machine, you need to understand your body very well so that you don't injure yourself, because a lot of people do very poor form movements and end up causing serious injuries to themselves. Those are what we call an ego lift. I'm about to do one for you in a moment just to show you what this beast is like when it's lifted off the ground. That's a bag of cement for my farmer friends out there. So don't make excuses. I'm 51 years old right now. So if I can do it, you certainly can do it. And I don't want to hear about, oh, I can't, I can't, you can. Come talk to me. It's all about getting that motivation. Let's do this. All right. So. First point of view ever at the Stone Dojo Gym. We're going to lift this up briefly. All right. So. Hammer curls. Yeah. All right. Now you can also be doing... Trap shrugs where you're lifting it up. Of course, this is very, very intense for me. And that's why I decided uh, to do a live stream here. Just in case anybody says, oh, it was edited in post-edit, etc., etc. It's not. All right. Now, that's one arm. Usually, you can do weights at the same time together. Of course, that's what the straight bar is for over there. Got various weights waiting for me there, and then I've got the EZ bar. All right, that was the right arm. <sighs> Breathe deeply. Remember, you want to get that power, that oxygen pumping into your muscles. That's what's going to give you the strength you need to do the lift. It's definitely a bit more challenging trying to talk and use up the air. All right, trap shrugs briefly. I'm just throwing in a variety of exercises here whilst doing the lifts. You're going to start getting what they call the pump. Ah, get that dopamine, that serotonin, those endorphins gushing through your body as you pump your muscles full of nutrients. <sighs> All right, that felt good. So you can have a longer break, two minutes sometimes for when you're doing strength training and going a bit heavier, or you can take a shorter break if you're building endurance, really pushing for that fitness where you're going to have fewer breaks. <clears throat> All right. That's long enough. It's time to do alternate 40 kgs, just to show you briefly.
eight, nine, ten, ah, all right all the way to grip failure all right that's going to give you a lovely forearm workout there's not any requirement to go and do additional forearm workouts which you can do with a straight bar and ez bar etc and for those of you who know my gym, you will know these. I've broken a number of these spring steel hand grips over the years. Yeah. Whoa. Those give a lovely pump. All right, take a bit of a break because when you're pushing heavier weights, you're going to get your pulse rate up. Then flip these over. To finish off, that was a pre-exhaust, the grip. And then what I like to do, <sighs> grip them together and hold. For those of you who like doing handshakes, this is going to increase your game and your gains big time. If you want to test, you can put a coin like a five rand coin for us South Africans in between the grips, squeeze it shut so there's no cheating. As soon as you let off the pressure, you're going to drop the coin. All right, if you push your arm forward, it's a lot more intense. And if you bend the wrist, it's even more intense. All right, so now you could be doing these together. These are very inexpensive. You can take them anywhere. And they actually give you quite a good workout for your entire forearm, your flexors and your extensors. All right, you can do it a lot faster. <sighs> oh. Lovely fresh air from that beautiful rainfall hitting the reserve right now. I reckon we've had about six millimeters overnight to my friends out there in the area. Hope you're also getting that rainfall. And then from there, you can do a drop set. These are slightly less tough of a resistance. And again, if I wasn't holding this device, I'd be giving you the example of both hands doing the exercise at once. All right, I've got various resistance springs here. You can add more springs on if you need them. These are old school, old school gym bands. <laughs> you won't find these around anymore. These go back to 1950s and so on. Seriously hardcore. If you do these after you've done your weights or isometrics, you'll know about it. So there's something for everyone. Of course, I've got all of my martial arts weapons here, nunchaku, Tonfa, bow staff imported from America, that's white oak. Anyway, these don't sit outside in the weather. Now, it's time to flip arms. That was a very long break. All right, let's do another set. You can do this with me at home. If you're out there, just pick up a book, pick up a brick, a rock, or whatever. Again, there is definitely going to be something around you. Pick up a friend. Go do some gym. All right, let's hit the next set. Hammer curls, I'm not doing the best form right now because I am also filming and trying to talk at the same time. It's best to save your breath, breathe deeply. Hammer curls, basically, it's the motion of as if you're hitting a hammer as you're doing that motion up and down like that. And then you can do concentration curls. Let's get a bit closer there. Yeah. All right. Where you are basically supinating the finger, that's a tip. Where you supinate this little guy, twist it like that. All right. So concentric movement, it's the upward movement to an isometric hold. Your wrist is supinated like that. Pronated is when it's downwards. And after isometric, you've got your concentric to isometric to eccentric. All right. Quite a few fancy terms there. Supination is busy twisting the little pinky finger higher than the thumb when you do the concentration curl. So hammer curls, then you can alternate to concentration curls. Then you can do cross over the chest like that. It's a great way of hitting the lower pecs as well and serratus anterior next to your latissimus dorsi. Yes, this is a bit of anatomy lesson. Of course, it's good to know every single muscle group that you're working. 
so you can tell if you're getting the correct area worked and having the desired effect. After that, what I like to do, that's already three sets, yeah, three different exercises. Hammer curls, concentration curls, remember to supinate the little pinky finger, and then we're doing cross chest curls. Then, crucifix curls, where you're going outwards as if you're splayed out like that on a cross. Very, very tough. And then you can do reverse curls. And then a shout out to the genius who invented this torture, Zotman Curls, Z-O-T-T-M-A-N. Many people out there have been doing gym for years, so they've never even heard of all of these. All right, this is what we call a super set or giant set, where you actually string exercises together. Remember, we're just talking about biceps here at the moment. Split into three parts, biceps, biceps, brachy, biceps, brachio, radialis, the section that goes onto the forearm. This will hit every little bit of your bicep group so that it is absolutely destroyed. You will blow them up. All right. Once you've done that, getting back to this alternate set, which is way too long a break as it is, but this is a little demonstration today. All right. So what we would do usually is five sets for biceps here. That's not talking about straight biceps and EZ bicep bar, etc., or easy bar, as some people call it. <laughs> it's a bit of an ironic name because it's not easy at all. And if it is, you shouldn't be doing it because if you're not pushing yourself, you're not going to make any progress. All right, let's do this. Alternate set, we're doing crossover chest. You can do what they call spider curls or drag curls as well. But reverse curls, Zotman curls is a concentration curl, lifting it up again, supinating the finger, so it's a standard concentration curl. And then you're twisting it when you get to the top of the repetition movement. And then down, up, twist, supinate the finger, then down. All right, the rain's starting to come down nicely here. Oh, yeah. What a pleasure. Look at this. <sighs> Quite often I'll put on a nice beat, get your music out there. But because of copyright claims, etc., I won't be putting that on a live stream. All right, so... Today it's just the white noise and me grunting and groaning as I do these exertions. All right, left arm. For those who know me, left arm was broken when I was, what, 11? Yeah, I fell down an embankment. I've got two pins that were put in here. Here's one of the scars over there. Yeah. So some people say, oh, now it's broken. I'm weaker. In fact, the brakes will make you stronger as the bone is repaired it gets even thicker just like when you're tearing down muscles with micro tears the amino acids from the protein are building them up again essential amino acids yeah eaa's essential amino acids what are those methionine isoleucine leucine lysine histidine phenylalanine tryptophan tyrosine 309 valine all right if you fail the test after this i expect extra push-ups from you all all right, then branch chain amino acids like arginine and citrulline. You can get citrulline from cucumber. You can get it from watermelon. You can get the arginine from nuts. All right, those are branch chain amino acids. They are not essential. Essential means you cannot get them except from the food that you eat. So make sure you get that into your system. Those amino acids are going to repair the micro tears that you make in your body from the gym. All right, but first you have to earn those micro tears. As I say, no pain, no gain. It's true, but remember, too much pain can lead to injury, and then you'll definitely not make any gains. So just make sure you've got a good balance. Have rest days between the different muscle groups that you're training, depending on what you're doing. All right, let's get to it. That's a long enough intro now for bicep curls. <sighs> remember, breathe deeply. Make sure you've got a good stance. Shoulder width apart for your legs. Eight. Ah. 
Alright, push myself a bit more because I had a much, much longer break than normal. Alright. Don't make the excuses out there. Alright. Good. That's hammer curls. Hammer curls, you tend to be able to do a lot more for most people. You're hitting the long bicep. Concentration curls is a different scenario completely. And it's time to flip over to the next arm. Now, I could have been lazy today. Just been like, uh, no, I don't feel like doing that. But I love doing gym. I love the discipline and the focus. If you're feeling weak or tired, get out there, do that gym. Make sure you don't go, oh, no, I don't feel like it. There's a great story about somebody who was sitting on a couch and then decided to go for a run. Remember, just starts with one step forward and you're already on your journey. Because even if you only walk a few more paces than normal or run a bit further, it's still more than you would have done if you're sitting on your couch and not moving anywhere. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Remember friends, stay hydrated. Dehydration can kill. I'm not even joking. In a hot climate, it's especially important to keep hydrated. Otherwise, you're going to have real issues pumping that blood around your body. You want to keep good volume. <sighs> Breathe deeply. Live in the moment. Forget anything else. There's no stress. It doesn't matter about anything else. When you're in that moment, you have absolute focus. Yeah, as The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, will clearly tell you. Focus! That's right. Focus. So, now... We're doing a drop set. Again, because this is a bit of a walkthrough video today and a point of view live stream, I'm going to be doing these with a bit of chatting between. All right, hammer curls again. I prefer doing these together. You can lift the weights at the same time or you can do them with one in each hand, which is going to balance you out a bit. One, two, three. Four, grab your weight. Five. <clears throat> ah, don't be shy. Let out your inner beast. Because this is a drop set and I've dropped down by 10 kilograms from 40 to 30 plus the bars about 32. I push the repetitions up. Note also the break is a bit shorter this time. Yeah, if you're not breathing heavily, you're not working out hard enough. It's as simple as that. Get that blood pumping. I can already see the cephalic vein popping up on the shoulder and the bicep yeah coming in to your delts remember that cephalic vein is busy pumping in beautiful oxygen if you're getting oxygen and nutrients circulating all right enough talk it's time to do the other arm Make sure you've got a good grip. And one, two. And in Japanese, itch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sit, hach, ku. Ju, itch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sit, hat, ah, ku, eh, ju. All right. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sit, hat, ku, ju. That's one to ten in Japanese. Konnichiwa. 
Tomodachi, Minasan. <sighs> Kurasai, Watashi no <sighs> Utsukushi Shotokan Karate Budo Dojo. Tomo arigato gozaimasta. Sayonara. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to some English here. Just a shout out to Japanese friends out there. I see you on Instagram. Don't make those excuses. It's one big family. It doesn't matter what language you talk. Yeah, this is the language that is through discipline and focus that anybody in the world can do. Remember, we all start off as a tiny egg and sperm. doesn't matter who you are today. If you're a leader of the country or a leader of yourself, remember this, that we're all tinier than that little speck on the ground right there. So everybody has to put in the work to get there. You can't walk into the supermarket and say, oh, can you just pop on a bicep quickly over here or a delt or a trap? You have to go out and earn it. All right. So those are just hammer curls, alternate sets, drop sets. Again, once you get to the end of the rack, you can go upwards again. In the Kalahari Desert where I used to train for seven years, up next to Botswana and Namibia's border, I had a huge gym, personal gym, 1400 kgs plus that I built up over many, many years and trained people from around the world. I've been rebuilding my gym. All right, the outside gym up at the Stone Dojo is in fact the gym. Every single rock there is a promise, a commitment to Whoever is doing the gym, you're not going to make an excuse. You're putting that there. Every time you see the dojo, it's a symbol for motivation. You're like, all right, I'm getting up there. I'm going to add to it. Next, here we go. 20 kgs. I love these. These are such an enjoyable torture device. <laughs> yeah. Starting to feel those endorphins pumping. All right. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten. Not swaying. One, two, three, four, All right, we're going to keep that to 30. I'm doing fairly high reps at the moment. You could, of course, drop it right down, depending on what you're after. Once hammer curls have been done, and then it's concentration curls, Zotman curls, cross chest curls, reverse curls, crucifix curls, and that's just for biceps. So this is a concentration exercise. It's primarily focusing on the biceps group. Of course, you can do alternate training, where you're training muscles that oppose one another like your biceps you can hit the biceps then you can go and hit the triceps afterwards and when the biceps are resting the triceps are working up but the biceps are also getting a bit of a workout and then you're hitting the biceps the triceps are getting a bit of a workout another alternate muscle group system you can work that goes well together pecs and delts the deltoid muscle group is divided into three parts you're looking at your anterior or the front, the medial or middle, and posterior deltoid. Your trapezoid, trapezium muscle group, is basically that shape on your back, tying in the latissimus dorsi, the lats, serratus anterior, these lines coming in here to your rectus abdominis, and of course your obliques. Then the legs, vastus lateralis, Rectus femoris, vastus intermedius. Ah. You've got your gastrocnemius, calf muscles, all right, your soleus, and the list goes on and on, of course, the glutes, gluteus maximus, rectus spina, your spinal muscle group, 
So all of these that I'm doing are working everything, but they're focusing on the biceps in particular. It's time to do the next set. For those who want to learn a bit of the Japanese here again, it's a good way to train your brain. Let's do it. Ichni sanshi go ruksich hachkuju. Ichni sanshi go ruksich hachkuju. All right, let's go. You feel super light after doing the heavier weights. One, two, three, four. Ten. And now, itch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sich, hach, ku, ju. Marlon, I see you, Shongalolo. If you're out there, remember, it's weekend. Going back to the hostel for school next week. Join in. Do the gym. Pick up a weight. Pick up some school books. Doesn't matter. All right. 30. I try to keep the repetitions the same for each arm. All right. Now we have a lovely drop set going down to 15s. You don't need to have big heavy weights. You can do a lighter weight and do more repetitions or you can do them very quickly or you can slow them down. Remember, it's only how you make the muscle feel that counts. So if you're after that burn and it's pushing beyond that burn, of course, as you will no doubt know, and if you don't know this, repeat this, there is no failure if you never give up. So I don't want to hear excuses from anybody. It's very easy to make excuses. It is very, very easy. Don't make the excuses. All right? So, let's do the next set. Now we've already done the left hand. Grip is now feeling it. So it's going to be alternate hammer curls. All right, by now you should be getting familiar with this, even if you've never done gym before. Again, note the stance. Don't go walk around barefoot in somebody else's gym. This is to make sure we don't get any thorns tracked in from outside into the gym, which are nasty little caltrops known as devil thorns, tribulus terrestris and tribulus zahiri. As I like to say, nice from far, but far from nice. Spiky thorns. Yeah, we don't want those in here. But I'm not going to be doing any leg exercises and lifting of heavier weights without shoes in case I drop anything on my toes. All right, moving on. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, sich, hach, ku, chu, itch, ni, san, shi, ruk, sich, hach, ku, chu, one, two, three, four, Five. And that's it, but I'm going to push it more. Yeah. Yeah. Some will tell you, and I agree with this, it works well. Only start counting when you feel the burn. Everything else is just a pre-warm-up, a pre-exhaust, as I've mentioned. All right. Shout out to anybody out there, no matter where you are in the world. Remember, it doesn't matter where you are. We're all on the same rock. That's right. It doesn't matter if you're in New Zealand, Australia, China, Russia, America. You and I are on the same rock. This little space rock going around that molten orb. Yeah, we're all time travelers. We're all gym family. So it doesn't matter what you look like, what your financial status is, political views or anything. All right. This is one family. All right. Next. Let's get motivated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Note there's no swaying. I'm not doing this. If you're doing that in the gym, 
that's an ego lift. It's too heavy for you. Recognize. Drop the weight before you drop an injury on yourself. You know what I'm talking about. Now, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, 15s, 12s. Each time, it's going to feel like you're doing the same weight, even though it's lighter, because it's a drop set, you can keep pushing your repetitions even higher or at the same. So you're increasing volume. Time under tension as well. All right. Progressive overload is when we're going from the lower weight upwards. And then if you're really trying to push endurance, you're keeping your repetitions constant or even increasing them. All right, progressive overload. Or a positive repetition. Just lifting it there, you could hold both weights together and then let the one go down. Then the other one. Yeah, how does that feel? It's like you the weight. <laughs> Little point of view. All right, let's get back to hammer curls. You can also increase the speed or slow it down. One, two, three, four, five. and it's like doing many more repetitions. Then slow, 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 slow. For any of you out there who think it's too easy, I challenge you right now. Guard and lift something that feels super light and then just keep lifting it, lifting it, lifting. Then try to do it slowly. Hold. Static hold and isometric. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And then slowly down. And then you'll feel the burn. I promise you that. You'll feel that burn. All right. Because this is not a real workout for me, because of course I'm recording this and talking and wasting a lot of oxygen on talking, no offense to anyone listening, but of course you want to save all your oxygen for the exercise. So I'm just going to do a few more of these. Remember, this is just one of the five for biceps so far that I've told you about. Again. For anyone only joining the stream now, Google map search for the Stone Dojo Gym. Utsukushi Shotokan Karate Budo Dojo. Yeah, <clears throat> for my Japanese friends. <sighs> All right, that was a quick drop set down to 12, just keeping that basic. Not going to take a big break now as we go down to the 10 kgs. <sighs> It doesn't really matter what the weight is. It again matters how you make that muscle feel. However, it is a good indicator of your fitness level, your gains, your strength, depending on what you may be lifting. All right, so a shout out to all my friends at the team of Pick and Pay in Otsuran, Western Cape of South Africa. I appreciate you and your deliveries to the Stone Dojo. And I mention this also because I used to buy dog food, 8 and 10 kg bags. I remember as a kid, lifting those bags up when I went shopping. And I used to get people saying, oh, why don't you take a trolley? Why? And I'd be like, no, I am the trolley. So instead of making an excuse and being lazy, as the saying goes, and no doubt many of you will have heard this, oh, work smarter, not harder. And wrong, work harder, not smarter. And I say that, it's loosely interpreted, meaning, yeah, don't go be a fool in the gym. But when I say work harder, I'm talking about the hard work is what gets the gains. Yeah, you heard it here. Work harder, not smarter. You're building your machine. There's no shortcuts. If it's too easy, change it. It must not be easy. <sighs> 
And remember, this is your vehicle. This is your body bank. What deposit are you going to make in your body bank today? <sighs> and don't get put off, as many people do, when they start training and it's painful. And the next day they're in agony. And the next day they're in agony. And they're, oh, I'm never doing that again. No, no. Anything that you start can be challenging. Again, push through it. Remember, look at the Storm Dojo from boulders that are over a ton and a half. Nothing there was built using machinery. It's all built by hand. Discipline. Doesn't matter how long it takes, years and years and years of grind in the heat of 45 degrees plus centigrade, in the cold when it's snowing outside, when it's raining. If you're only training indoors, you're not preparing yourself for the elements, as you can see here. Let's have another look outside and get some fresh, fresh air. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Feel it. Ah. Oh, that feels good. All right, just having a look at my motivation monument, the Tower of Power up there. There's Stone Dojo right up on that hill. All right, it's time to get back. Oh, that feels good. Cool the feet down. Look at that. <laughs> All right, not something you see in the gym, except yeah. Again, for those who come and train with me, you'll know the layout. Everybody who comes to visit and train here is welcome to swim the Storm Dojo Riverine Swimming Pool YouTube search. You'll find it. All right, now that I took a bit of a break, this is a super, super easy. All right. Oh, I'm going to have such a delicious breakfast. For those of you who are skipping breakfast, Alessia, you know I'm talking about you. Yeah, in Italy, I see you. Don't skip the meals. Yeah. Put those nutrients in your body. Yeah. It's fuel. Burn it. Use it. And for those who go, oh, I'm eating too much and this and this and this. and Remember, it's just fuel. Fat is fuel. Burn it. It's highly accessible. It's just being motivated. If you're just eating and you're not burning anything up, of course, if you're concerned about weight gain, remember this. It's about body composition. Not weight. Not weight. I've had a lot of people who start training, they start gaining weight, and they're like, oh, no, I wanted to lose weight. You are losing weight. Remember, muscle is burning up that glycogen. You're taking glucose, like burning it up. Yeah, that's fuel. Muscle is heavier than fat. Yeah? So when you start training, you are going to first seem to be losing a bit of weight as you burn up water retention, flush out excess sodium, get your potassium and your sodium in balance. And then you're going to start gradually gaining muscle mass and muscle weighs more than fat. I cannot emphasize that enough, especially for you ladies out there. You say, oh, but I'm gaining weight now when I start the gym. Yeah. That's muscle weight. Don't look at the weight on the scales. Look at the composition. Remember, muscle is a factory. It's going to burn fuel for you. All right. So, moving on. That was a drop set going from 50, 40, 32, 20, 15, 12, 10. Now you can keep going all the way down. And I promise you, it doesn't matter how big and strong you think you are, if you're doing a 1 kg weight, you're still going to burn out. It just is a matter of number of repetitions. Eventually, even trying to move that one kilogram, you can ask anybody in the world who's trained like that, they will tell you, you will know about it. Again, it's not the weight, it's not even the number of repetitions, it's how you make the muscle feel. All right, I'm going to sign off in a moment. That's a long introduction to the Storm Dojo Gym. Please drop a comment, let me know where you're watching from, and let me know as well, did you learn something today? Do you have any questions? Hit me up. And remember, Google Map search the Storm Dojo Gym. I hope to see you there, even if it's not here in the gym, virtually. Don't go make excuses. It's an awesome day. Make it even more amazing. Remember, invest in your body bank friends. Until next time, all the best. Peace out.